Hello, and welcome to the Flurry tutorial on custom segments. In this video, we'll talk through what segments are, how to set one up, and how to use segments to drive greater insights from your app data. Let's get started. So what is a custom segment? Well, it's Flurry's way of grouping users together based on a set of characteristics that you define. That might be user gender, location, a specific action they've taken in the app, or any combination of the above. Once you've defined a segment, you can apply it to your Flurry Analytics data to drill deeper into the behavior of this subgroup. Let's see how. To set up a custom segment, select Manage from the left navigation menu within your app's analytics, and then select Segments. Then select Create New Segment on the top right of the page. There are several dimensions you can use to build your segment. Let's talk through them. First, you can create a segment based on the date when users first opened your application. To do so, check the box and select the desired start and end dates for your install cohort. Next, you can specify a level of usage for a segment of users that you want to isolate. For example, you might want to look more closely at your app's heavy users. To do this, you'd first select the Heavy Users box. Then, you'd click on Edit Usage Segment and define what heavy usage means for your app by applying the sliding scale. Next, you can create a segment based on custom events. Events are any in-app action that you have tagged in your app, such as a purchase or the completion of a level. For this demo, we are using an automobile app so we'll create a segment based on the users who have triggered our Car Selected event. As you start to type in your event name, you'll see options populate in the drop-down. We'll select Car Selected. If you have set up parameters for an event, you can choose to add them as additional criteria for your segment. To do so, select the Parameters option and specify the name and value of the parameter. In this example, we'll choose to isolate users who've selected a car made by Ford. To do this, we'll use the drop-down to select our parameter, which we've named Make, and look for the value of Ford. Now add these specifications to your segment. Please note that you can add additional events to your segment if you'd like. You can also make use of both our Has and Has Not logic, and our Any and All logic by using the appropriate drop-downs. Once finished, select Done. The next segmentation options are age and gender. For example, you might like to isolate your male users to better understand their behavior. To do this, select Males. Please remember to select the right data source for this segment in the drop-down. If you collect and pass actual age or gender data to Flurry, select the Reported option, and we will base the segment on that data. Otherwise, select Flurry Estimates. The same applies to the age section. The next segmentation option is language. This allows you to look more closely at users who have set their device to a specific language. And finally, you can add the element of geography to your segment to drill into the behavior of users from a specific country. For example, you might want to understand more about your Canadian users. To do this, select the North American region and then select Canada. Please note that you can select more than one country to belong to a segment. Finally, name your segment. Basing the event criteria we added above, we'll name this segment Ford Owners. Then select Save Segment. Flurry will now go back and collect all your users that fit these specifications. This may take 48 to 72 hours to complete as we will go through your entire app history to find these users. Now let's show you how to make use of this data. Let's say we wanted to understand the gender split of our Ford owners to better inform our user acquisition strategy. To do this, navigate to the Flurry Gender Metrics. We'd apply our segment by selecting the All Users drop-down at the top of the page, and then selecting Ford owners from within Custom Segments. The data shows that our Ford owners are 75% male, 25% female. Custom segments are available for any metric where you see the All Users drop-down at the top right of the page. So you can understand metrics like retention, session length, frequency, and more for any segment you create. 
If you have further questions, you can find more help on our support site, support.flurry.com. Or you can always reach out to us directly at support at flurry.com. Thanks for watching.